In this video, we'll go over Real Magnet's integration with Salesforce. Now, Real Magnet is a leading online email and social marketing platform. Uh, basically, we have clients across the United States and the world using our platform to communicate with their members, their prospects, and their recipients across email and social media. Now our Salesforce integration is bi-directional, so data comes from uh, Real Magnet and flows back into Salesforce, such as recipient tracking and uh, other recipient interaction data. And information travels from Salesforce into our system, and uh, that includes lists and so forth. Those list transfers include the reports and the campaign module, so you can build a list with either and import those recipients to be sent to into our system. Now installation is quick and easy and the best thing of all is the cost is zero for this integration. So let's actually go ahead and show you what this looks like. You're going to come to our tool section here and what you're going to be able to do is in the left side navigation you'll see Salesforce Management. This is where you'll be able to come and set up all the points of the integration from within Real Magnet. Once you're here, you're going to be able to see your upload job. So this is all the activity that you've already created. So you can see that I've already created an upload job where I want to have a list uploaded from Salesforce into Real Magnet, uh, and it's a manual process. So I can come here and I can run it at my leisure. You can also edit it or delete it. But let's not put the cart before the horse. Let's talk about actually creating an upload job. And primarily, what you're going to be able to do here is come here to this tab and select between a campaign or any of the reports that you've created in Salesforce. So let's go ahead and select uh, this particular reports folder. And now I can determine uh, which list I want to upload uh, from Salesforce into Real Magnet. You can see we have two here. So it's very simple. Uh, you'll come here, select that, and the next thing you're going to be asked to do is to create a mapping. Basically, we need to match the data that you have in Salesforce with the data that you want to import into Real Magnet. You're always going to see this. You need uh, ID and then map to a custom member record within Real Magnet. Um, so don't worry about that. There's nothing there that you have to change. But there's a couple different options that you have for this mapping page. You can come here and you can map each Salesforce field with its corresponding field within Real Magnet. Um, if you're going to do personalization, you probably want to have your first names mapped and perhaps any other you know, relevant information that way. And uh, you can create your mapping uh, just like this. And uh, if you're happy with it, you can save the map. So you can have this mapping uh, always be available from this pull down here. You can even change any existing ones that you've already created. So we have the full capabilities of mapping your fields from Salesforce directly into Real Magnet. And again, you can use that for any kind of personalization of your email content. So let's say we're happy with this mapping that we've created. And we want to go ahead and schedule this job. We want to have this data come from Salesforce and be imported into Real Magnet. When we hit Create Schedule, we're going to be able to determine, uh, first of all, what group we want to place these individuals into can be any of your existing groups, or you can even create a new group so you have uh, full flexibility in uh, how you're uploading this content. Now there's a couple other options here. Do you want to replace the entire group, or do you just want to add new member records to that group? Um, you also have the ability to overwrite, so um, any existing records can be overwritten, or you can say, hey, I only want to add new records to the group, don't overwrite any of the other additional fields. So let's go ahead and say now, you know, this is the list uh, and we have our group and uh, we have all the other settings completely done here. When do we want to upload this? Well, we have a few different options here. The first is a scheduled upload. You can have it on a daily or weekly basis where basically we'll just ping Salesforce for a new set of uh, data from this particular list at such and such a date. Uh, and you have full flexibility here determining uh, between a weekly or a, a daily upload. But you also have the ability to just do it manually. Say, you know, I want to create this mapping, uh, I want to create this upload job, but I only want to create it so uh, I can run it when I feel I need to. 
So you can do a manual run and then on the upload job status page, you can manually run that at any time. And finally, you can just do a run now. Say, hey, this is what I want to have uploaded. I don't need to upload this ever again. And you can kind of do a one-off that way. So let's say we've decided to upload this every week, uh, Sunday at 3.35 in the morning. Once we're done here, it's pretty simple. We'll click Submit. And uh, you're going to see it now right here under the Upload Jobs tab. So um, every week on Sunday morning, uh, it'll be uh, running and pulling that data from Salesforce. So that's pulling your list data uh, into our application. Let's say you've sent to this list. And now you want to, you know, see the, uh, the member record activity uh, back in Salesforce. Well, the first thing you need to do is determine what kind of information you want to have sent back into Salesforce. Um, do you want to see uh, if it was delivered? Do you want to see if it was open? Do you want to see if people have clicked on links? You can manage all that here. And you have full flexibility here. You can select uh, as many fields or as few fields as you need. But all this will uh, go back and flow directly into the member record within Salesforce. So you'll be able to see this activity on a per member record basis. And again, you'll be able to schedule this kind of upload of tracking data back into Salesforce uh, every day at perhaps you know uh, three or four o'clock in the morning, whenever it makes sense for you to see this data being uploaded back into Salesforce. So after you've selected everything here, all you have to do is click Submit, and then that tracking data will again be attached to each member's record. Great. Let's go ahead and say we're in Salesforce, and we're on the uh, Contacts tab here, and we're looking at a contact. And we want to see the real magnet activity that this contact uh, has had. So this is really easy to do. You can come down here to Real Magnet Activity, and you get a picture of how this particular recipient has interacted with your content. You can see the newsletters that were delivered, that were open, that had links clicked, and it gives you a nice, very granular perspective of the interactions uh, that your e-broadcasts have had with this particular recipient directly here within Salesforce. So while this is a, a great granular view, you're able to see all this really great activity information on a particular member record, let's say you're interested in building reports off this data, uh, basically generating lists that meet your specific criteria. Well, to do that, all you have to do is come here to the Reports tab. Now let's say I already had a report that I had built, and let's say it opens from Maryland. Now, this report obviously has data from Realmanet Activity as well as Salesforce data, so they're kind of merged here. So we're looking at everyone who has opened uh, this particular email message, and it's from the state of Maryland, and you can see I have 67 records here. But let's say I wanted to uh, create a new report or just modify this one. If I click on Edit, will be taken to the Salesforce Report Builder. So you should be really familiar with this. This has all the same options and filters um, that you normally use when you're generating a report in Salesforce. But now because you're integrated, you have the ability to use this particular field. Now it's the uh, activity field and we can scroll down here and we can see that we have this whole section called Real Magnet Activity History. And we have the ability to basically come in here and uh, with these activity codes, we can edit that and we can change this report. Um, and this can be based on any of the uh, uh, activity codes that are brought back into the system, such as opened, delivered, link clicked, etc. So actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and look for anyone who's clicked a link from Maryland. And we can see this is a much smaller report, but we do have now these four individuals who've uh, obviously received this particular email message, clicked the link, and are from the state of Maryland. And I can easily run and then save this report. 
the key takeaway here, again, is being able to use this real minded activity history to come in and generate your reports. Um, and you can do this just off the real magnet activity history, or you can combine it with the Salesforce data that you already have. Okay, let's go ahead and run this report. And the nice thing about Salesforce is after you've created your report, you're able to generate a dashboard view of kind of the overall activity uh, for a campaign that you've run. So if we go to the, the dashboards tab here, now by looking at this dashboard that I've created, I can see the overall performance for a particular campaign that I've run. So we can quickly start to see here uh, how well this campaign performed. And the first report that we built here was open versus non-opened. So we can see, you know, 25% of everyone who was sent this message opened up that particular blast. But we're able to start to merge the data here. So not only can we see real Madden activity, but now we can see open by title. So we can see that you know a number of VP of communication individuals opened up our uh, particular blast, as well as executive directors. So we're able to get a, a great picture uh, of the, uh, the people who are opening up our message by combining uh, the real minute activity history with the data that's already present within Salesforce. And we can keep drilling down further and further. So out of the number who actually opened up the email, we had 7% of those people actually click. So again, we're seeing more and more data here. Now, what we're actually moving uh, towards is, a, is kind of a full circle uh, integration for you. Um, you can see the gross registrations by title here, but probably most importantly, we're able to see people who have clicked, but who haven't registered. And this allows you to start building, uh, you know, a re-engagement campaign. These people obviously were interested in uh, this particular event, but they clicked on it, maybe got distracted, and, you know, didn't end up registering. So what you can do now is because you've built this report, you can actually come here and you can see the details. You can see these 11 individuals who clicked but didn't register. But since this report has already been created, you can take the next step. And the next step is basically going back into Real Magnet and importing this particular report as a list to send up a follow-up e-blast. Okay, so I've taken us back to Real Magnet, and now we can go ahead and you know go back to the tools section, go back to Salesforce, and create an upload job here. And all you're going to have to do is come and find out where you put that report. And you know, in our case, we put it here on onboarding. And now we can see, hey, this is the report. These are the 11 individuals who have clicked but did not register. And now I can go through the mapping, upload the list, and then create my re-engagement campaign based around those particular recipients. So with this integration, you're able to go full circle. And you're able to get much more uh, information on your marketing activities by combining the data you already have within your Salesforce integration.